Hi everyone, so we decided to get out the house today while Andy's at work and we've come to the nature preserve. Now they've closed the picnic tables off, obviously due to the virus, but I'm sure we'll find a tree stump somewhere, won't we Lex? Nice and shaded, gets the kids out and they've got some ponds with animals and everything to look at. So let's have a look around. You are? Is that just trees or coming? <laughs> no, they're bushes, actually. Oh, okay. <laughs> How pretty is that? So today we've been, well, Kate and the kids have been out. They went for a walk around the nature reserve. It's not too far from us. And when we got back, some lovely person, we don't know who, has left these at the gate. Whole stack of them. So that's them. And we make great raised beds. So whoever it was that did drop them off, thank you very much. They'll come in very handy with a project that we've got going soon. What are you doing? You doing the oranges? You picking all the oranges up, are you? Yeah. That's a good girl. Yesterday and last night we had a storm coming through. Which is very rare this time of year. As you can see today it is baking hot again. And very noisy. But I'll show you. This was only put up temporarily. All this. And it's coming down in a few months, hopefully. But the wind decided to give us a bit of a helping hand last night and ripped it off. What are you making a racket at? Hey? Polly and Ivy. Let's have a look on the allotment. It's all coming alive now. Love this time of year. So, we'll have a quick look around and see what we've got. Now, there's the peppers that we planted last, last week. They're coming up. There are all these radishes. We've just gone to seed now. So we're going to leave them. We're going to collect the seeds off them. And use them for next year. Because... As you can see, you pull them out, and they're just not very good now. So, yeah, we have got more radishes in there. Yeah, so, there's the carrots. They're coming up really nicely. <laughs> Shh, don't tell okay. Katie. Okay, get it out. So I snapped the top off. Yeah, it but it's starting to swell up really nicely now. Well, I love carrots. Like a bloody rabbit, I am. No. Strawberries. They're all starting to come back really nicely. We did move the grape plant from that over there. We're going to have it growing along this fence now. And it's starting to come back. We've got all our cherry tomatoes, as well as a farmer the other day. Because I was saying to him, every time one turns, see if I can find one. Yeah. That one's just started turning red. I said, every time one turns, someone eats it before I get a chance to. Um, he said, best thing to do, if you know, we don't want spraying, which we don't, we don't want spray anything, is to fleece them. So that's going to be a job for tonight. We're going to bring it because there's just tons and tons and tons. So we're going to fleece them later on. It's the best time to do it is at night because all the bugs will have disappeared. Or early in the morning before they come out. Um, 
another casualty from the storm last night. But there's loads and loads of tomatoes this year. So hopefully we'll have the loads of them. Red onions. They're coming along lovely. Tons of car jets. We like our car jets little like this, about that size. We throw them on barbecue. Yeah, plant or aubergine, whichever one you want to call it. And then the peppers that the goats eat. And I've got one on there. I'm gonna pick that because I want them to bush out a bit more. I'll take them. The peas. Didn't do very well at all. We got out of all that there that was planted up, this three little peas. <laughs> so I don't think I'm going to bother wasting my time with them. We're going to take them out. Then we got French beans here. Yeah, I think they're French beans. I think that's what they're called. But we're getting loads of them. And we've got a couple of cucumbers. That are, well, I'm, there's some sort of squash, I'm guessing the cucumbers that have just popped up, and then in there we've got, which is really cool, a little tomato. It's just a random tomato that pops up, so I'm just going to leave them in, let them grow up there. Then we've got our Christmas mammons, these have all come along lovely now, starting to really grow, yeah, a couple of flowers on them. Yeah, weed this. And these are more Christmas melons, then we've got some watermelons just mixed in. And then our cucumber plants. A cucumber, pumpkin plants. These are going to clear all this. I'm going to let them grow all up here. And we'll train everything to go that way. So yeah, there you have it. That's a bit of an update on the allotment. Um, I'm going to get on now, do this fleece on top of these tomatoes. And then... We've got a fire going, we're gonna have a Underneath the willow tree, standing on my stubborn feet, I found all my insecurities buried down deep within the ground. And I didn't know what I would find. Look at this. Yeah, I know. This. It's first carrots. Are you having one? Are you eating the biggest one? Yeah. Go on, bite into it. It's only a bit of dirt. <laughs> Do you want a smaller one? What do you like? They're sweet and they're crunchy. Sweet and crunchy? Yes. And I have orange on my gloves. Are they nice? It's nice. <laughs> I'll put these ones on the table. Yeah? That? That's the pepper. That's one of the peppers. Yeah? Yeah, you can buy it if you want. Yours. Do you like that? <laughs> the one that's got a colour on. Polly? Yeah, this one. I like a colour. And that one I like a On the floor. Oh, so this one is named Polly, the big one. She's got two babies, one a boy and one a girl. We get milk from Polly, don't we? Yeah. Do you I, like the milk? Yeah, it's very nice. I have it with my breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> and here she is called Ivy. 
She's very pretty, and I don't know why she has these two things attached to her, her throat. They're like... What, the dangly bits? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Do anybody know what it is? Subscribe in the comments. Subscribe in the comments. <laughs> you mean put it in the comments. So if anyone knows what these dangly bits are underneath the goat on the neck, then put them in the comments so Lexi can find out. Whoa! <laughs> it sprinkles everywhere. <laughs> so here, lots of very grass. Lots of very, very grass. Hey, Lexi. Ooh, let's find it. Maybe it's too cold. So. Polly, Polly might play with it. She normally does. What about the other goats? Should we go look at the other goats? Uh, yeah, we have two boys because at the minute we don't want many babies because because it's it's not spring yet. So we just want them in spring. So is that why they're separated? Yeah. See? That, they're two boys. <laughs> That's it. So. Get over. <laughs> okay. And. Why don't you pick up some... Yeah. And this one, Buckeye's got a colour and he snatches and there's a bear. <laughs> and here is Rango. He's called Rango. 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 Oh. I 